I've really just got a couple questions that, that I think are important. Nearly 87% of Arkansas communities depend exclusively on trucks to move their goods. Since the vast majority of my constituents rely on, and this is true of so many other areas throughout the country, efficient trucking operations, I'm, I'm really interested in the Department of Transportation's long-term plan to build our truck parking capacity. Uh, we've heard repeatedly from representatives of the trucking industry that the nationwide shortage of truck parking capacity is a key driver uh, of supply chain inefficiency. In fact, for every 11 drivers, there's only one truck parking space. So, Mr. Secretary, would the establishment of a competitive grant program for truck parking projects better equip DOT and the states to address the longstanding uh, challenge? And if so, or if not, how can we help you accomplish you know, something that really is a major problem now and is probably only gonna get worse in the future? Well, I, I completely agree with the importance of this issue. Uh, when you talk with truck drivers, it's one of the first things that they'll raise. And it's not just a matter of convenience, it's really a matter of safety. Right. Uh, it means that uh, as a driver is uh, on their route, they see that they're getting close to the limit of their, their hours of service. They're faced with a choice uh, either to stop short and lose income, uh, if there's even a space near them, or to uh, uh, park in a place that could be unsafe. Yeah. So, and I don't mean to interrupt, but I'm told that, that literally drivers will drive around for an hour, hour and a half, you know, trying to find a spot before their, their hours run out so they'll stay, you know, stay within the, That's uh, right. the time frame. Or face being compelled to park on those ramps, which exactly. is not safe for them or for other exactly. drivers. So uh, in, in terms of a, a dedicated program, we'd welcome a dialogue on that. Uh, I do want to make sure in the meantime you're aware that we're using uh, the funding we do have uh, for these purposes. We were able, uh, through our discretionary programs, I believe infra, but uh, I will double check with the course. Uh, to fund both uh, Florida and Tennessee working on projects to do just this, to add uh, truck parking spaces. And I would add there's some interesting technologies developing that can help drivers uh, know in real time where some of those spaces might be available to avoid just that scenario uh, that you're describing of, uh, of circling around, which, which benefits no one. So uh, we'll continue to consider this a valid use in any discretionary program where it's permitted under statute. Secondly, we uh, have taken steps to urge state DOTs to recognize that this is often an eligible use of their uh, federal uh, aid uh, highway formula funds. We would love to see uh, more of those funds going to that purpose. Uh, but third, if, if there's an opportunity to investigate uh, uh, dedicated programming, uh, I certainly recognize that that would meet a need. Well, we would really like to work with you, and I think I, I can speak for the committee in the sense that this is you know, such an important mm. area um, you know, to, to go forward and help you with the, the projects that you've got going now, but also uh, try and figure out a future way to, to perhaps, uh, you know, help alleviate this 